All right, so it's time to get going. In this section, we'll cover the basic building blocks of SEO theory, starting with what is a search engine? And we is gonna do this real quick. So what is a search engine and how do they work? Well, simply put, it's any website, software, tool, or program that allows you to easily search a database of information. Take the classic example, Google. You as a user go to Google's website, enter in your keywords, and it spits out a list of websites for you to check out. Say you're looking for the best plumbers in Atlanta, and you go to Google, type in those keywords, also known as a search query, and out comes a list of websites on a page known as a search engine results page, or SERP. You could also do the same thing with Bing or Ask Jeeves or Alta Vista if you're old enough to remember that one. There's also international examples such as Baidu from China or Yandex from Russia. With all of these examples, you put in your search query and they return a list of websites to check out. But there are other types of search engines. YouTube, for example, is the second most widely used search engine in the world and it searches for video clips. Amazon also acts as a search engine as you can search for product and product reviews and the same thing for Facebook and LinkedIn, which allow you to search for user profiles. Whether you as a user are looking for websites or products or something else, a search engine is just a tool that helps you find what you're looking for. Now, it's time to talk about the guts of a search engine, the search algorithm. Search engines has to determine which websites or products or assets to rank first, which to rank last, and which to not rank at all. And the software that does this job is called a search algorithm. Whether it's Bing, Google, Amazon, Facebook, every search engine has a different search algorithm and thus will show you a different set of results. Try searching for pharmacies in Google versus pharmacies on Facebook. You'll get a very different set of results. And that's also true if you search for pharmacies in Google versus Bing. Each of these companies have a different algorithm that's at work determining the rank of their results. So what is Google's ranking factors? Now for the rest of this lesson, we are going to focus specifically on Google. And the first thing to mention is that Google's algorithm measures many, many, many different things about your website to determine its rank. These things are called ranking factors. Of course, Google does not publish these factors and they won't tell you how they're weighted or anything like that but there's been a number of determined marketers who surveyed other SEOs and got their observations down. And the following is how I'd personally summarize what you'd read if you checked out the sources that I include below. Google's ranking factors are split into three different categories, technical ranking factors, content ranking factors, and link ranking factors. Technical ranking factors are further split between crawl ranking factors, or how easy is it for Google to discover your most important URLs? Index ranking factors, or how easy is it for Google to understand or parse information of your page? And then rank ranking factors, which is a combination of engagement related metrics such as bounce rate, click through rate, and page speed. And the job of doing what's called a technical SEO work is to remove as many of these roadblocks to rankings as possible. Next, there's content ranking factors, which are also split up into three different categories as well. First, there's relevance, which is how relevant is your content to the user search query? Next, there's uniqueness, which is how unique is your content versus everything else that's available out there online? Is this a rehash of something someone has already created or is this something new and fresh? And then finally, there's depth or how well do you cover a topic compared to other websites that cover the same topic. Finally, there's link-related ranking factors, which is really important because Google was the first link-related search engine. So just like content versus relevance is very important. How do the sites linking to your site relate to the keywords you wanna rank for? Or how well do the, does the anchor text or the text that is hyperlinked in the link related to the keywords you wanna rank for? Then there's popularity or how many sites are linking to you. You can think of it like this. Every link counts as a vote. So if you have a lot of links, you have a lot of votes. And finally, there's authority or how powerful are the sites that are linking to you and mentioning you. Now, most SEOs, including myself, will tell you links as a group is the most important ranking factor. 
But again, you have to remember that each type of keyword you try to rank for has different weighting, weighting of ranking factors. And how important the links are to you depends on the competition of your SERP. So in this course, we teach a very balanced approach, which is try your best to address as many ranking factors as possible in your campaign and do it in the most earnest manner. Now that you have an understanding of what is a search engine, how they rank results, and how particularly Google's algorithm works, it's time to jump into the next section and talk about the work, which is what SEOs do on a day-to-day -day basis.